Hello. She keeps going. She won't be able to go over the bridge. You're too big. Is it a weight limit? I would think so. It's a tiny little bridge. Can you see it? everybody welcome to my channel my name is Luke thank you very much for watching uh, today is Wednesday and uh, we're going to do another couple of day vlog so I'm going to be recording over the next sort of uh, 24 to 48 hours however long my shifts are gonna be um, it's currently quarter past seven in the morning it's just getting light now so I'm starting to vlog now oh that's lovely little uh, don't know what you'd call that yeah <laughs> It's water going down, um, yeah, a lake. That's it, a lake. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's quarter past seven. It's getting light out now. Uh, light, light mornings are coming back and uh, lighter evenings are coming back as well. So that's nice. Really nice. It's not getting dark now until like gone five o'clock most evenings. So that's good when you drive. Because driving in the dark, don't know about anybody else, but driving in the dark makes me feel more tired. Um, and if it, yeah, if it's dark, I just feel like I want to finish. Where if it's light out, I can work for longer and longer and longer. Yeah, so that sign just said know your speed limits, 50 miles an hour for trucks. That's wrong, it's 60 on dual carriageways. Yeah, on dual carriageways it's 60s, unless otherwise stated in a circular sign. Anyway. We're on our way to Barnstable. Uh, it's taken us, look at that van, look. It's taken us about four hours to get here from Southampton. However, we did park up last night. I think it was on the A31, just after Dorchester. We saw Kevin yesterday. Uh, we saw Jay yesterday as well <laughs> on the M40 slash M42. If you haven't checked this out already, go on facebook.com forward slash road legends and check out the video that uh, we put up there. Uh, Scott Andrews has done a, nar a narration on, on me and Jay. We're all in a WhatsApp group uh, where we talk every day, all day, every day, sending each other voice messages. But we can also share our live location. Um, <laughs> he was filming on his laptop our location and I was catching him up because Jay can only do 52 and I can do 55. So I was catching him up slowly but surely and he just uh he done an epic video it's only three minutes long but go on road legends page facebook.com forward slash road legends just watch the video it's absolutely hilarious if you haven't seen it already i'll link it in the product um, in the description down below anyway so if you can't find it click the link but yeah on our way to basketball uh we're going to be there for eight o'clock eta is currently 7 59 so we are a minute ahead of schedule but obviously that could change quite easily there is a truck overtaking me. I will let it pass in a sec. I just don't want to lose my momentum going up this hill. Right, I'll back off now, let it pass. After we've done this drop in Barnstable, we obviously need to come back down to Southampton, get reloaded for wherever, don't know yet, and at least make our way there. Because tomorrow is Thursday, and tomorrow is my last day this week. I need to do a delivery tomorrow, get back to the docks, take the container off, and then head back up to Swindon with nothing on, with, with no container on the trailer. I've got to be back in Swindon 
tomorrow because Friday at about five o'clock in the morning I'm leaving my house along with Kev T, uh, Martin aka Tokajenko and also Scott Andrews. Uh, they're all coming to my place for about half four, quarter to five. We're leaving my house by five o'clock and we're going up north uh, to see a manufacturer. That's all I'm going to say at the moment, but just keep an eye out. I'm sure video is going to be up very soon. But uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. We're looking forward to it. We're obviously staying in a hotel as well for that night. We're going to have a few beers. We're going to, I'm going to get some behind the scenes footage of us having a laugh. You might be interested, you might not, but we're going to put it up there anyway. But yeah, looking forward to it. I, um, I promise you, no moaning today. I know my last vlog was a bit of a moaner, wasn't it? But uh, no moaning today. Let's not talk about the last vlog. Let's not talk about what happened last week. Mm -hmm. Zip. <laughs> right, let's crack on to bounce the ball. We're uh, 24 miles away, 38 minutes away to be precise. Um, let's get this container offloaded. And then we can head back to Southampton. Let's get crack a lacking. Okay, so we're just around the corner now from where we need to be. Just uh, about a mile away. We're going to a place, well, on the paperwork it says Leo Textiles, but the, um, the building we're going to is Leo something else. <coughs> but when you put it on Google Maps, it comes up with brackets afterwards, Leo Textiles, so I'm assuming they're the same company. Makes sense, seeing as they both got the same name, Leo. But uh, yeah, um, I looked at it on the maps, it looks like I can drive pretty much straight in. Spin round, do 180, so I'm facing back out again, and then it looked like there's two bays on the map. Uh, which one exactly we need to go on is uh, what we're gonna find out in a second. In fact, it might be a case where it all needs to be handballed off. I've got a funny feeling this is all gonna be handballed. But we will see, just gotta turn right here, turn right at this roundabout, turn right at the next roundabout, and then turn right again, it's just by those trees. What's that building? Woolsley. Founder zone, self service, uh, self storage rather. Is that a pub? Is a pub there? I <laughs> don't know why I'm getting excited about a pub. I don't drink, not really. Tesco's! Right, so let's go around this roundabout. I let her through. And then it's just uh, got to turn it right in a second. Turn right here. Oh wow, it's right next to the pub, look. <laughs> Window down, we've got to concentrate. Oh, there's someone outside already. Looks like they are ready for us. Ooh, this is quite steep. Oh yeah, they're ready and waiting for me. What's that, bud? Right, mate. Got it, mate. Yeah. Yeah, if you just want to take it down there, mate, down to the end, just see the shutters. Yeah, down there. Reverse as close as possible. No problem, mate. Right. Now I could see that they were pointing over there, but like, I'm not going to drive an Arctic over there without being physically told. So I've got to drive as close to that as I can, they said. So I will be spinning round.
I think we'll be parking at an angle. I do, but I'll get the doors open as well. I'm, uh, I'm fine to park at an angle, it's only 13, turn on. Yes. Right, um, better go speak to them. Make sure they're all all right. Get the doors open and hopefully get this offloaded relatively quickly. Okay, they are not happy with where it is. They want it completely straight because they've got a conveyor or something going in. So they want it completely straight, which means I've got to go right up against the mud on that grass verge over there. Not too much of a problem, but... It is a little bit slushy. So we've got to turn in last minute, last possible minute to get this as straight as possible. Quite sure how much room I got on the uh, on the left. <coughs> right, yeah. We are dead centre now, so that's good. I'll just go back as far as they tell me to go back in a second. Not bad, dead centre that is. Quite impressed with that myself. I'm sure he's going to tell me to come back in a set. Unless that's fine where it is. No, it might be fine where it is. Oh, pardon me, let's go and have a word. Is that better? Yeah, spot on. <laughs> Slightly forward. <laughs> oh, that one needs to go forward, doesn't it? For that one. So yeah, my door that I opened, I opened fine, but the door on this side, a little bit too close to the, uh, to the, uh, what do you call it, building. Done. We're in place. We're going to put it on brake. Got to get a 45 minute break in. And then there's a three hours and 45 minute drive back to the docks. And then we'll have to have another break before we really go anywhere too far. It depends on driving time. But yeah. At least we're here. We are actually on the mud though, so. Dirty wheels now. Right, I will see you in a bit. Right, we're done. Just close the doors, just waiting for paperwork now. 
There he is. Cheers, buddy. You're going to have a nice relaxing day now. <laughs> Cheers for that, mate. Thank you. Right, so, let's put our paperwork away. And let's go. Yeah, I turned up and it was like, uh, oh, there's a learner car there. I turned up and he said, uh, I hope you're not in a rush. So, what do you mean? He goes, oh, you might be here a while. I was like, yeah, that's right, mate, I'm not in a rush. So, as long as I uh, get back and get loaded, that's all that matters. He said it'd be about four hours. He said, don't, it don't normally take any longer than four hours. But uh, he said it'd take, it'd take about three to four hours, he, he reckoned. It's like, yeah, mate, yeah, no worries. So I got there at eight. It's quarter to 10 now, so it took an hour and 45. It's gonna give this uh, learner class some space. these cars to come probably could have went but my trailer would still be in the road by the time they got there would have slowed us down these two cars coming so yeah I was only there for an hour and 45 minutes which wasn't too bad um, so we're heading straight back to the docks now I haven't actually told them I'm on my way back yet I'll give them a phone call in a sec but ETA is 20 past 1 so not bad not bad at all really if I can get a 1 to 2 VBS could potentially have this uh, container off and a new one on by three o'clock. And then on our way to wherever we gotta go. I do have enough drive time to get home today if I could get home, as in if I got a job somewhere my way. But if not, then I got no problem staying out for tonight and then do the delivery in the morning and then come back. No problem doing that at all either. So yeah, we're just going to uh, crack on now. Like I said, we've got a, uh, a long drive back to Southampton. It's over three and a half hours drive. So uh, let's get some miles under our belt. Because it is 160 odd miles away. So let's crack on. Docks. Um, we got here from pretty much 10 past one. Spent 10 minutes just trying to find somewhere to park up because um, we got to wait. Um, the, the VBS they give me is a two to three, so I got to wait until two o'clock basically. You allocate time slots to actually go into the docks. So I got to get a half an hour break in anyway because I'm on three and a half hours drive time, so I've only got an hour left of driving time. So it's actually good. I can get half an hour break in. Um, go get loaded and then go home because tomorrow's delivery is going to Western Supermare. It's going to IOTA Garden and Home Limited. <laughs> uh, and you put it in in the sat nav and it, yeah, it's country roads. So we've got to, got to do some country roads tomorrow. Um, don't know if you can quite see that on, on the GoPro, but um, yeah, got to go up that lane. 
to to this company, IOTA Garden and Home. I haven't actually checked what time I've got to be there. Booked in for nine o'clock. Booked in for nine o'clock and to get there from work, according to Google, will take me about an hour and 45. An hour and a half, out to an hour and 45, something like that. Hmm, not bad at all. So I will be starting work until seven o'clock tomorrow. Get in. <laughs> so yeah, we just got to sit tight now and uh, wait for our time slot before we go and grab our container. Right. We are loaded with our container. Journey is complete. Lift up that barrier. We are out of here. See you again tomorrow, docs. <laughs> ah, dearie, 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 dearie. So, we got here about oh, quarter past one, something like that. Um, expecting a one to two VBS. Uh, they couldn't give us a one to two VBS, so they gave us a two to three VBS. So that's good, because we were able then to get a break in. So, I got to pre-gate for two o'clock. I could be waiting a while now just to get out of here. Got to pre-gate for two o'clock, um, and 50 minutes later we're on our way out, so it's not the end of the world. No one's gonna let me through. Just truck after truck after truck. Thank you very much, mate, he's letting me through. Um, so yeah. 50 minutes, not the end of the world, we got out relatively fast, but there are, even though we got out quite fast, there's just a lot of action going on. Um, you can't see on the camera, but um, the, where you queue up for the docks, you might be able to just see it on the left, but it's, it goes on for probably a quarter of a mile, if that, but most of that was filled with trucks queuing to get out. Normally you pull out and turn left to go get your um, your seal checked, but this time you had to go out and turn right, go all the way to the end, loop round and come back because the queue was so long of trucks waiting to get out. So that was a little bit annoying and we're in a queue right now as well to get out of the docks because no doubt the crossing is um, being used by whatever these things are called, where they lift up the containers, no idea what they're called, I expect. Um, the crossing will open, traffic will move, and it'll definitely go down again before we get there, maybe twice. So we could still be in the docks for another 10 minutes, just waiting to get out. But either way, we should be out of the docks by three o'clock. It's 10 to three now. Um, and we should be in the yard by about half past four, as long as there's no traffic. Didn't start work this morning until uh, 20 past five. So that's good, gonna sneeze, hang on. <coughs> yeah, started at 20 past five, gonna be finished by five o'clock. So less than 12 hour shift, so that's nice. Tomorrow probably won't be starting until seven o'clock. <coughs> that's me. Yeah, so I'm gonna have more than 12 hours off. Gonna have 14 hours off actually, if I'm to think about it. So I'm going to go home, I'm going to have one bottle of Corona, nice beer, and uh, catch up with Formula One testing, because obviously that's happening this week, and I've not been home for a couple of days, so I'll have a couple of days to catch up on. Ferraris are looking very, very fast, I know that. I'm going to, I don't know whether any of you follow Formula One, kind of tempted to release Formula One related content. I'm not entirely sure whether that would be suitable for my channel. But I predict that Lewis Hamilton will win the Drivers' Championship again for the sixth time. Um, and I, but I believe Ferrari will win the Constructors. I think Ferrari, both Vettel and Leclerc, very strong drivers, could rack up the points for Ferrari, but I think they could hinder each other's opportunity to win in the Drivers' title, which is why I'm saying Lewis. That's my prediction. We'll see if that comes true in about 10 months. And uh, the crossing is down again, as you can see, because we're queuing up again. So yeah, I had, I had no 
doubt in my mind it was going to go down at least once more before we got out of here, but never mind. Did that lorry just flash me or somebody else? I get flashed loads of times in the docks. And I don't know whether it's because they recognise me or because I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> anyway, um, I, I'm going to go. Just before I do go, um, just before I went in there, I got searched by security. And um, he goes, is anything sharp on you? And I was, I said, just my wit. <laughs> I said, I expect you've heard that a lot, haven't you? And he goes, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Right, um, I'm going to go. Next time you see me will be tomorrow. Um, Western Superman, here we come. Oh, also, before I go, I oh, know I keep saying I'm going to go. The, where, the place I'm going to, the farm I'm delivering to, there's three routes there. The default route the sat-nav takes me uh, to it takes me through a house and estate which I wouldn't want to take a class 2 rigid let alone class 1 Arctic with trailer 44 foot long whatever how long it is 50 feet long so that's out of the question there's tight roundabouts tight turns weight limits the lot um, yeah not overly happy with that route the the most direct route takes me over the M5 straight there and it's so easy to get to However, just before you go over the M5, you go over a little bit of river, and that's a seven and a half ton maximum gross weight bridge, which means can't go over that. So the third and final option is to go, I don't know how to explain it, drive to Western Super May, come off of the junction, and you sort of I'd do like a big massive circle just to get around. It's a, it's a bit of a detour, not a lot, I'm talking 20 minute detour, 15 minute detour, as opposed to going straight there, but yeah, I've got to go around just to get there. It's the only way I can make it. Um, I don't feel comfortable going through the house and estate, although I couldn't see a weight limit, um, couldn't see any signs on Google Maps that said unsuitable with HGVs, but I've delivered to those sort of sites before and I, I just, I'm not going to get a trail around it. No way. So, I'm going to have to go do the detour route, but you'll see that tomorrow. You'll see that tomorrow, don't worry. Lots of country lanes, single track lanes, and a farm that don't look big enough for me to turn around in. So it's all looking fun for tomorrow. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'm gonna go, I'll see you tomorrow. There's something about you that caught my eye. There's something so true that sparks a light. And I don't believe in love for a sight. But I can't deny this thing I found. I'm not saying that you would change my life. But what I'm saying is you make me come alive. I'm not saying that you are just my type. It is now, well I was going to say Friday, it's my Friday but it's actually Thursday. We're in Western Supermare. Um, so the situation is, uh, the route, I can't remember if I explained it yesterday or not, the route I've got to take, oh, a bump, but the place I've got to go to, there's three ways in. Uh, the first way that the sat nav takes me in as default is going through a house and estate and there's just no chance I can get an Arctic through that house and estate. I don't think so anyway. The easiest way in is by going over uh, the M5, but just before the M5, you've got to go over a train track, and that bridge is apparently a weak bridge. Now, it's been a bit of a thorn in my backside, that bridge, because I've been hearing reports that you can actually go over it and that the limit's been increased. Google Maps says it's a seven and a half ton maximum gross weight limit, um, but loads of other people on driver's forums and on my Facebook page said that I can go over it. So it left me in a bit of a tricky situation as to what I should do. So I phoned a company up, which is located literally just after the bridge, and asked them as well. And they said, yeah, that the bridge has been um, repaired and now the limit has been increased. But here's the situation. If I go that way and it turns out there is a weight limit, or the signs are still up at least, because that's another thing. Someone said that the signs, sometimes it takes up to a year for the signs to be taken down. If the signs still say weight limit, I ain't going over it, not a chance. So, um, 
we're going to Wick Street Lawrence, which is right. This is where the roads start getting tight, I think. But uh, yeah, we're not we're not going to go the Wheat Bridge way because I don't want to risk it. I can ask the guys I'm delivering to, see what they say. Um, they may well say that it's fine as well. And if they're going to be a while, I may I may well even go take a walk and find for myself. I expect it's a good 10, 15 minute walk there though from my delivery, but we'll see. I might do, I might not. Um, but if I go that way, like I said, there's, there's just nowhere to turn around, so I don't want to risk it. So I'm coming the back way, the longest way round. It's about a seven mile diversion through country roads. So that's what we're doing now. We're, I don't think it's seven miles, but never mind. We're two miles away, just over two miles away, but the roads are, are about to go into single track. So it's going to be fun, more single track roads. And on the way out, I might just decide that this way was fine. I'll come back this way, who knows? Right, there's the first sign saying single file traffic, but then that's for these roadworks. Silly Billy Luke. Let's get past this vehicle. All right, yeah, so we're delivering to a farm in Western Supermare. Um, I'm hoping it's gonna be a quick tip, but I get the feeling it won't be. I get the feeling I'm gonna be here a while, but we'll have to wait and see. We won't know until we get the back doors open, until we, um, until I get an estimate. I can get an estimate once the doors are open, basically. Wick Street Lawrence, here we go. So there's a guy who watches my YouTube channel called Dan. He said he used to work around here. He's uh, been a long time viewer. What is that truck doing? Hmm. I asked him and he said the, the loads of trucks drive over the bridge all the time. So as one of the guys who said I could drive over the bridge, but it's just, I don't want to risk it. You can get up to a thousand pound fine, I think, for driving over a weak bridge. So we'll see. I've got a 40 foot box on. It's only nine tons, so combined with the unit, I'm probably about 21, 22 ton. Um, I'm normally 12 ton with an empty container. Right, this is where it's gonna start getting tight. Don't wanna, don't wanna uh, curb the wheels. Yeah, we made it around there fine. Yeah, so I'm, I'm about 12 ton with um, empty container and truck. And I've got a nine ton container on, so I'm about 21 ton, 22 tops. Woo! Also, Dan, Oh, who I know watches my videos, said that these roads are very tight in a class two vehicle. So I, <laughs> I kind of want to prove you wrong, Dan, that you can get a class one vehicle around here. <laughs> Do not want to meet any cars on Ben's. Why are you putting road signs in the middle of the road on a bend? This is not good. Why are you stopping there? Oh, she's coming over to me. Hello. She's going. She won't be able to go over the bridge. You're too big. Is it a weight limit? I would think so. It's a tiny little bridge. Can you see it? I'll, uh, I'll go and take a walk and just double check. Okay. I'm going to that garden place. Sorry? I'm going to that garden place. This is the only way in because there's oh, another wheat bridge on the other side. Go take a walk. Right, I'm gonna have to go take a walk. She's advising me that I can't go over. Telling these this traffic to go, but they're not going. <laughs> right, this is entertaining. Right, a little tiny bridge. I think I can go over that. Yeah, I reckon I can get over that. <sighs> Stupid people. Right. We've gone for a walk. I reckon I can get up here. I, I can see why she stopped me. Because she's obviously concerned. But I'm hoping I can get over this bridge. It will be tight. 
definitely will be tight. Uh, no, I don't think it's that tight. I think the ladies are worrying too much. It's going to be doable. There we go. I think people see a big lorry and they just automatically assume heavy. Obviously, lorries can weigh up to 44 tonnes. As I've already mentioned, I weigh about half that. I'm not a fully loaded lorry. But yeah, I can see why she stopped me from going over that bridge. And, you know, fair enough. Fair enough, she stopped me. Now, the problem is I've got no, no internet connection, which I didn't think I would. So God, I hope I stop in the right place. I don't like driving down these country lanes. People are always like, what are you doing down here? You shouldn't be down here. She asked where I was delivering to, that lady. I said I'm delivering to the garden place just up here. And there's literally only three ways in, and this is the best way. I've done my research. I haven't just come down here willy-nilly. I researched it before I come here. Definitely wouldn't want to meet another truck down here though. <clears throat> that is not what we wanted to see. Hopefully you can stay there. Yeah. <clears throat> There's no weight limits through this little village. I haven't seen anything yet. Okay, there's one. <laughs> but I do need access. Seven and a half ton weight limit, except for access. And I do need access. Delivering to your farm. I'm delivering to your farm. <laughs> but a car behind me, he's probably thinking, where is he going? They see when I turn off in a mile up the road. I can't believe I said there's no weight limit yet and then I see one straight away. If I went in the other way through the house and estate, I'd also have to go through a weight limit. So it looks like this whole area is, is now weight limited. Which is strange because the road looks bigger than anywhere else back there. Plenty of places to park over. I'm going faster because there's more room. Oh well, never mind. I think we've, I think we've done all right. If that lady didn't stop me, I would have just gone over that bridge anyway, without having to get out and have a look. But, um, I went and had a look anyway. That van, you can, you can stay there, mate, if you're going to come this way, stay there. I was going to say, I'm, I'm not going back, mate. You can go back. I am going that way though, so you are going to get in my way still. Thank you very much. He didn't seem too upset. I'm always half expected to come across someone who is a resident of the village and just point blank refuses to move out the way for me. I am expecting that at some point. <laughs> Hopefully not today. Alright, I need to turn left. Just before the sat nav reaches its destination in 800 yards.
keep going. If we came over the weak bridge, the other side, then um, it would have been a lot quicker than this. And, uh, yeah, I think we, we would still be in a weight limit as well. I can see the M5 from here. Right, that's the farm over there. I hope. We need to take a left turn then. And then we need to go left here. If there's no room to turn around, they might want me to turn around using this entrance, and that'd be tight. IOTA, that's where we're going. Left. They've definitely made this wider for trucks. Gonna be a tight turn around there. There's a little doggy there. Hi. Morning. Um, if you can turn around. Yeah. Um, I'll just the guys are out of sight because it's ten minutes away. Okay. Out and be here. Turn around. in the dog. Full lock, full lock, full lock, full lock. I don't suppose you can move the car slightly forward, is that okay? I don't suppose you can move the car slightly forward, would that be okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. Cheers. I'm okay, I'm okay. I managed to do it, it's fine. Bless her. There's a few dogs around. going to budge back enough so then other cars can at least get in. There's a lot of dogs around here. Ah, oh, dearie, dearie, dearie. Bye! We made it. Oh, there's no internet. There's no internet access. Oh, I'm going to be bored out of my mind. Oh. Right, let's get this off. Yeah, so I've just spoken to the lady uh, and said, which way would you recommend coming in? Because I come in from that way. She goes, did you go over that hump bank bridge? I was like, yeah, they're, they're quite tight one. She said, yeah. I said, yeah, I did. She goes, oh, that's a weak bridge. I was like, well, <laughs> so there's no signs telling me that. She goes, on the way out, go left and go over the, the way in. It does say there's a weak bridge, but apparently it has been increased to 40 tonnes um, for these businesses. So um, guess which way we're going out. <laughs> The easiest way. Oh, there's a dog there, look. Hello, mate. Hello. Hello. I'm, uh, I'm not an animal lover, but I don't dislike animals, do I mean? Be nice to them and they stop barking at you. I'm assuming it's a friendly dog. I think it wants a pat. Let's go give it a pat. Hello. Hello. Wow. <laughs> Hello, mate. How you doing? Are you male or female? My new mate, aren't you? 
my new mate. What you doing? What you doing? Right, we're done. Offloaded. It's uh, 10 to 11. Just waiting for them to sign the paperwork. Well, they've signed it. Just getting, they're getting a photo copy. A van just done a delivery. UK parcels van. And um, on the way out, there's, there's two dogs. And they're a proper chase in the van. Really close to the wheels. So I'm hoping that they put the dogs away before when I go. I'm going to have to keep an eye out on them. I do not want to be running over any dogs today. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Cheers, buddy. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Stay mate. Yeah, see you later, buddy. Later. Yeah, so... I think they put the dogs away. Can't see any, so that's good. <clears throat> so, we will be going out over the weak bridge. Uh, well, the, the bridge that I was uh, under the illusion was weak. We won't be going through that village that we went through earlier, go that way. Gotta take it that way to get the trail around. Yeah, we're clear. It's a, uh, a single track lane bridge with traffic lights. And uh, yeah, well, I've been told by, by different people now that I can take the bridge. So I'm taking it, and if, there's, if it says there's, it's a weak bridge, then uh, I don't know what we're gonna do. Part of me just wants to go over anyway. The other part of me is like, well, it's illegal. You can get in a lot of trouble for going over a weak bridge, especially if it collapses. And you don't want it collapsing as a train's coming underneath. <laughs> that would not be ideal. But it's literally just round here. I think there is space to turn around if needed. But I've been, I've been told by different people I can take the bridge. It's fine to go over the bridge. So that's what we're going to do. But the sat nav um, doesn't like it. it. The sat nav knows I shouldn't go over it, which is why it's not telling me to go over it. I've got to, I've got to manually put it in. Clear. We've got to go over the M5 first before we go over the weak bridge. Still clear. Right, so this is the M5 bridge, so we will be uh, going under this in a sec when we get on the motorway. Plenty wide enough here. Hello, M5. There we go then. We're approaching the weak bridge. Just gonna slow down a little, just make sure nothing's coming the other way before I go on over. Not seen any signs yet warning me of a weak bridge. You would have thought there'd be signs further back. This sign is telling me that there's traffic light signals ahead. It's a red light. I still don't see anything telling me it's a weak bridge. Obey red light. Yeah, there is, uh, there's loads of cameras here, but I guess that's sensors for the other side, because it's quite a long single track bit I've got to go over. There's nothing to say that this is a weak bridge. I should have just gone over it. I should have come down here earlier. That sign there is where it said Wheat Bridge on Google Maps, here. 
there, they've taken it away. It's no longer a weak bridge. Typical. Bloody typical. Right, anyway, so we're going to crack on back to the docks now. Uh, just, just calculating the route on the sat now. It should take about three hours to get there, I think. And then uh, let's get this container off and then head back to Swindon. A lot of traffic coming from the right, which is annoying because I need to make a very sharp left. Uh, sorry, a very sharp right. And I will need most of their side of the road. I will just stick with it for a second. left to be clear now. Excellent. Hey, that's good. We're out. And we're on our way. So 129 miles back to the docks, two and a half hours, so it's not too bad. There's a chance I can get to the docks, uh, container off, and make it back to Swindon without needing the break. A chance, a very small chance. Okay, so situation report. We are just about to get onto the M27 now from the M3, uh, which means we're literally just around the corner from Southampton Docks. We're only like 20 minutes away, if that. Uh, the time is 10 past one in the afternoon. So we'd get there for about half past one. However, uh, the VBS we've been given is a two till three. So um, there's a half an hour wait before I can even go in. So, um, Based on the fact that I'm probably going to need to have a half an hour break later to get back to Swindon, because I'm on two hours and 20 minutes now, so I'm going to be on about two and a half by the time I get to the docks, plus a good 15 minutes worth of driving in the docks, it's going to be very tight um, as to whether or not I can actually make it back home or back to the yard without needing a break. So I've got to wait half an hour before my VBS, I need a half an hour break, might as well have an hour night. So I'm going to put into the services. Uh, Ronan services on the M27 which will be coming up very soon and uh, get a half an hour break in. Once I finish the break I'll then crack onto the docks um, and get this container off. We are actually getting reloaded with an, with an additional container. Um, we've got another 40 foot container going on it's going to be going to Buxton on Monday morning which is about half an hour away from where Jay lives. So. Um, yeah, I've, nar I've narrowed it down to where he lives, <laughs> inadvertently. Yeah, we're um, well, we're going to Buxton, so we do have a container that we're taking back up to our yard, so that's good. It means I don't have to start mega early Monday to come back down here to get loaded. So that's uh, it's actually very good, because I probably would have started at like 2 or 3 o'clock. But instead, we've got to go to Buxton, get there for 9 o'clock, so um, I'll probably be leaving my, my yard about 5 o'clock, so... It's still early, but it's a lot better than leaving at half two, three. A lot better. <laughs> I'm just hoping that the docks are going to be quiet and not mega busy. <coughs> I don't want the docks to be mega busy when I get there in half an hour's time. That would not be good. Why is this car slowing down? All of a sudden, I know I catch him. But I was catching him up anyway, so I knew I was going faster than him. But all of a sudden, he just just slowed down even more. Never mind. We're going to come off. Oh, I swear, I'm I'm going slower than what I was 100 yards ago. He's he's slowing down. You really should be indicating if you're coming off. No, he's not coming off. 
So yeah, just going to pull into these services, have half an hour break, and then uh, and then crack on, get this container off, get the other one put on, and then go home. Depends on how long I'm in the docks for. I'm hoping that I won't be in there too long. But we're looking at being back in the yard between four and five. Not ideal. I'd like to be back sooner, but no mind. What are you going to do? I've got a load of stuff to do as well later when I get home. I've got to fill my car up with fuel for my girlfriend because she's going to be using it Saturday. And she's using my... When I say my car, they're both my cars, but <laughs> I've got to fill one of my cars up with fuel for Saturday. And the other car, I've got to give it a wash. I think we're just going to squeeze in straight here, look. Looks good to me. Looks ideal. I don't plan on going into the services, so I don't need to park close. I think this will do. Lovely. Ah, half an hour break. Let's go. We're done, we are loaded, we are on our way back to Swindon. We've got a 40 foot evergreen container on. It's green. <laughs> um, and that's going to Buxton Monday morning, but of course, it is Thursday. We are heading back to the yard and um, it's going to be parked up over the weekend and we're going to take it up on Monday morning. So, yes, it's, been, it's not been a bad couple of days. Um, there are people out there who've had it, who have had it a lot worse than me. I'm talking about you, Kevin. <laughs> Mr. T. He, um, he's still in York, and it's four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, by the time he gets back down, parked up, and gets home, it's gonna be like 10 or 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> Two o'clock in the morning, uh, or three o'clock in the morning, he's leaving to come to my house. So he's gonna get like four hours sleep. Um, so yeah, Kevin is not best pleased. But uh, whether he mentions that or not in one of his vlogs, it's entirely up to him. But I've said he can, he's more than, more than welcome to have a little sleep on the way up with me. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, <clears throat> the Road Legends, myself, Kevin and Scott, we are going up with Trucker Jenko to uh, a, fact, a factory in Leyland. Uh, well, we're going to the Leyland factory, basically. Um, We've been invited to go up there by DAF, um, and we are we've been inv invited as influencers. Don't know exactly what they've got planned, but meal uh, food is free, so I'm in straight away. Free food, yep, sign me up. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, they're going to no, they're going to show us around the Leyland factory, show us how all the DAFs are made. Going to show us around a museum. We're going to have uh, some sort of presentation with a YouTube um, person and various DAF. Um, high-end employees by the sounds of it 
I think they want to gauge on how they can work with us as influencers in the future. So if you do see any daft related content coming up, that'd be why. We've got a couple of ideas lined up as as the Road Legends. We want to do some stuff with them, which we uh, we will be mentioning. But um, yeah, we um, we're all going up tomorrow. They're all coming to my place early in the morning, about three four o'clock in the morning, and we're le- leaving my house. But uh, about half past four, quarter to five. It's a good three hour drive up there. We need to get there by nine o'clock. It's an all day thing until six. I say that's an all day thing. Nine hours isn't long. It's gonna fly by for us. We regularly do 15 hour shifts. And then we're going to a hotel, um, the four of us, and we're gonna have drinks and chat and have fun and go our separate ways and stay in our rooms for the night. That's what we've got planned for uh, the next couple of days. Oh, and a breakfast. Staying at a Premier Inn. Premier Inn breakfasts. Mwah! I love them. <laughs> I love Premier Inn breakfasts. I'm definitely having breakfast in the morning. From 7 to 11, I believe. So, yeah, that's uh, my next couple of days lined up. You should hopefully see some daft content as well. I do plan on doing a vlog uh, of us going up there and coming back and just relaxing, chilling out. It'll probably be a separate vlog as well, like while we're actually at daft. So um, look forward to a couple of extra videos, a little bit different to the, the vlogging while um, on the road sort of thing. But yeah, that's me. Um, I am going to go now. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that jazz. And uh, until next time, drive safe. See you soon and bye-bye.